Okay, here we have the P38E. It is the very first P38 you'll come across in War Thunder. And my honest opinion about the plane is it's a piece of junk. But, like I said, that is my opinion. Your mileage may vary. And uh, I'll, I'm going to take this thing into a battle just to kind of give an idea of what it's capable of. Personally, I think it's really underpowered. And, um, yeah, I mean, you may, you'll may you notice I've already taken it up quite a few times. I've got uh, multiple modifications for it, including all of the flight performance mods for it. And that doesn't really change my opinion about it. Um, now, I'm saying this. Uh, this plane is, this particular P-38 is a piece of junk in comparison to the other P-38s in the game. The others are awesome. This one, hmm, not so much. Anyway, uh, here's a battle. Hope you guys enjoy it, and we'll talk again whenever the battle's over. Alright, let's get this heap in the air. Pilots, your mission is to destroy the enemy's ground equipment and bases. Let's not go into the tents, though. And already we can see one of the glaring weaknesses in this plane. Its climb rate is abysmal in comparison to everything else it's, it's, uh, that it's supposed to be up against. Remember, this is not a stock aircraft. This is one that's got every single one of the flight performance upgrades unlocked. It still doesn't climb worth a damn. I can't shake him. We have taken the initiative. Which is a sh uh, really a, it's really a shame because the other P-38s in the game climb very well in comparison. But this one. Don't do so well on the whole climbing thing. Granted, I am above most everybody on my team, but only just... Not anywhere near what I would like to be. We're gonna see if we can invite this uh, zero up here to join us down here at lower altitudes. Get in here. Got a KI-45 moving really slow. He is gone. Okay, here I'm starting my attack run on the KI-45 down below. I noticed that he turned to uh, go head on with the F-4F and left himself pretty vulnerable, so... That became the prime target as he'd been. he was the easiest one to take down out of all of them. And I open up on it. Shredded wave. That is all she wrote to him. I did take one hit. Oh, that zero is not looking too friendly. And again, you're not going to find very many friendly ones anyway. Took a chunk of his plane off. Let's keep my speed nice and high.
here we have the KI-45 closing in on me from behind. I haven't noticed it yet. He turns away. In the meantime, I'm focused on hitting a zero that was out in front. Now he's uh, back behind. KI-45 is making his approach, though. I go vertical. And he sees me going vertical. Or so does the zero down below. And here I enter what is known as a, a climbing spiral. I'm still trying to gain altitude, but in the meantime I'm climbing as well, waiting for him to stall. And I go into a dive, and that's when I notice the KI-45 passing below. I switch over to him because he they figure he'll be an easier target. Put some rounds into him. Overshoot. Pull up into a barrel roll. Which keeps me on his tail. He goes vertical, makes mistake. There goes his wing. You gotta be faster than this. And this is the real drawback of this P-38. It is not exactly what you would call zippy. See, that Ki-44 is easily keeping pace with me here. to the airfield. This plane has seen better days. Appreciate the assist back there, dude, but I am if not really in any position where I can help you. On the bright side, this thing actually did take a pretty severe beating this time and kept on flying, so I mean, I gotta give it that. Then again, my engines didn't exactly take any of the hits. It's mostly my airframe. Keep it up and victory will be ours. any progress on my uh, P-38L. Oh well. I'll get it eventually. I'll take that. Spend the rest of that in the cover. And finish. That's the uh, P-38E. It's really... As far as the P-38s go, it's a uh, pretty weak plane in comparison to the others. It's, it's climb rate, it's uh, max speed, uh, everything, it, it just, it doesn't feel like a P-38. It, it feels, like I said, it feels weak. It feels like it's, light, like its performance isn't quite up to par. Um, and I can bring up a comparison here. Here's the P-38E, the one I just used. And you can see it's max speed, it's turn time it isn't all that great. And then again, it's a heavy fighter, it's not going to be that great. But it, really the ones you want to look at are its speed and its rate of climb. Um, this, uh, in comparison to 
say the next one that you get, look at the difference there, especially in climb rate. It's about a thousand feet per minute faster than its predecessor. That's a pretty substantial leap in uh, as far as engine performance goes. I'm just, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm not a fan of this plane. I, I'm really not. It really feels like it suffers um, whenever it doesn't have modifications and even after you've unlocked these modifications it still feels really really underpowered so anyway it's I'm not sure if that has something to do with this plane's actual real-life performance or if it's just a uh, another problem with the uh, slew of other problems that Gaijin has in introduced into this game uh, I'm not sure if it's an incomplete flight model who knows but, uh, I guess, like I say many times in many of my other videos, I am no expert on any of this. I just, I can just uh, call it as I see it. I feel like, the, and the way I see it, this plane is weak. Uh, anyway, uh, if you enjoyed this, click down below on the like and the subscribe button. I'll see you next time.